Hi guys, what I'm going to be discussing today is the Remzibi ODS system for FPV and what we have here is the, or when you purchase it, what you'll receive is the OSD system. You'll also get a GPS with it, which we'll plug into here. Um, and you also get a USB little programmer board for it. And this will allow you to customise your on-screen display to display the information that you wish. So first thing we'll do, oh and also, um, you can get the software from this site here. They've got links and run you through exactly how to set it up and all that sort of stuff and show you the sorts of things that you can display with it. What I'm going to do is give you a very, very quick rundown on how to go about using it. So first thing we'll do is I'll unplug the GPS. I'll put that aside for now. And what I'm going to do is plug in the programmer board. Uh, and blue, blue, blue. There we go. And what I'll do is I'll just plug this in. And they're plugged in, make sure they're firmly in place. And then what we'll do is plug these into the on-screen display, starting with yellow first, followed by blue, which goes right next to it. And then we're going to skip one and go red. Excuse the birds in the background. Can't do much about that, unfortunately. So that's pretty much ready to go. And what we're going to do is I'll just flick to Windows. Uh, there we go. And we're in the Windows system. And what we're going to do is basically connect the on-screen display up. What we'll do is plug it in. Lights are on. That means everything is A-OK. -okay. Now, I'm going to tell it to connect to Windows, not the Mac. I'm doing this capture on my MacBook only because it's easier and it does a better job than a PC. So what we're going to do is basically connect it up and the way to do it is hold the little reset switch. While holding the reset switch we plug it in, let go of the reset switch and now it should be ready to go. The files you'll download from that website are this zip file and that basically contains the installation, the driver for it for the um, USB device um, and then once you've done it you'll install the actual setup software which will install the software necessary to customize your rims to be on, on this screen display so what we'll do now is I'll minimize that I'll fire up the on-screen display and that should be ready to go so you can just check it if you want to and go to serial communication mine should be set up anyway um, all I've got to do is go into serial cable setup, test, and that comes up A-OK. -okay. Now the first time you connect it up, they've got a series of instructions here. Just make sure you go to serial cable setup and follow these instructions and you should have no dramas whatsoever. So I'll exit out of that and basically I'll show you a file I've already done. Uh, this one here. And this is the sort of setup you end up with. And what you can do is basically go through and customize all these settings and you can actually move things around to wherever it may be that you want. So what I'm going to do is go through exactly how I've customized mine. Like for example, I got rid of um, this voltage because I'm only going to be running mine with the one battery pack at this point in time. And I'm going to be running it on a Bixler aircraft. So what I did was basically click that and say, remove that, don't display it because I don't want it to be visible. These are all the items that you can have visible on your on-screen display. I've disabled that. Now, this one here, it's got AV here, and I don't want it to read AV because it's not just my audio video system. It's actually my aircraft's power system. So I prefer it to read engine. And there you go. That's customized, and there you go. So what I'm going to do now is load the file that I've already done for my Bixler. I'll go File, Load. Um, it's, it's this one here. I won't save that file, it doesn't matter. So it's loaded my file in and what I can do from here is basically go through and customize things and I'll show you exactly what I've done and we'll upload this to the actual on-screen display. You can also download from the on-screen display too. So what I've got is I've got my GPS settings over here. As you can see that's enabled. You can go through these settings and have a play with them and see exactly what options you have. I wanted my um, heading, which direction I'm heading, whether I'm heading away from home or heading towards home up here and I wanted the distance I am away from home. What I've also done, um, if you have a look, I've set this to 500. So if this figure drops below 500, 
I'll bring it up to about say there, that little house sign isn't actually flashing. When it goes above 500, it'll start warning me that I've gone beyond that range. So what I've done is set that parameter myself. I've also done the same for time. I've set the, no, sorry, I haven't done time. You can't actually do that on time, my apologies. But I've also done it for um, the altitude that I'm at, and I've set it to meters. And I've set it to 122 meters, which is the equivalent to 400 feet. So once I go above 400 feet, it'll actually start warning me. I think this flashes to let me know that I've gone beyond 400 feet. I've also done the same for the voltage. I've set the voltage to 11 volts. Now you can also change font sizes and things along those lines. I can make it larger and smaller depending on what I want. I'm happy with that configuration. I've got my heading down here. I've also got my rate of climb over here. And basically once I've gone through and customized this, so what I'll do, I'll make a minor change. I'll move this number over a little bit and say I want it there and I've finished customizing things, I've moved things around, I've enabled what I want it, what I want visible and what I don't want visible. What I can do is press save or I can do a file save as and create a new file and then what you do is go to serial communication and if you keep an eye on this you'll actually see what will happen. I'm not sure how well the video will actually pick this up but as I start uploading I'll go upload to on-screen display that little light starts flashing and as you can see we have a progress bar which tells you that it's actually uploading the information to the on-screen display. So what I've done with this one is I've actually moved things further out, move these things further out and give myself more visible space in the middle and I've basically customised it to display only the information that I want. It's a great little on-screen display system, I'm dying to use it on the aircraft, the weather hasn't been very good but um, as soon as the weather's a little bit better we'll get this up and running and give you a demo of it in flight. So there you go, I hope you enjoy that quick rundown on the REM CV on-screen display system. It's really good, I highly recommend it. I actually purchased this one through eBay but I'm sure there are a number of sellers out there. Um, hope you found that useful and there you go, it's just about finished. It's uploaded to the GPS, sorry the on-screen display and it's ready to go, that's all there is to it. So there you go, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed this quick little rundown on this on-screen display system. Thanks for watching.